5 Math number 48, Estimate Decimal Quotients. If it snowed 4.9 inches in 5 days, how much did it snow each day? 4.9 can be rounded to 5, and 5 is compatible to 5, so you could say it snowed about an inch a day. What if it snowed 4.1 inches for 5 days? It would still be smart to use 5 because 5 is compatible with 5, and you could still s say it snowed about an inch a day, because we're just estimating, right? Well, we can estimate up or down for the dividend when using compatible numbers. Whatever is compatible. If we're dealing in feet, and you have 41 feet of lumber that you want to put in 12-foot piles, you can estimate up and say it's 48 feet divided by 12, because 12 and 48 are compatible then it would be 4 feet. Or you could estimate down, because you're in between, you're at 41. And you could say 36 feet is divided by 12 would be 3 feet. It's an easily divisible number or round number. It depends on the divisor. If our dividend was 241 thousandths, you could go to 200 thousandths. This should say 200 thousandths. If the divisor is 10, that would be more compatible. See? We could even go to 240, couldn't we? If it was 241 thousandths, we could round it to 220 if the divisor was 11, because 11 goes into 22. If it was 241 thousandths, we could go to 210 thousandths or 28 hundredths, because 7 is compatible to them. If it was 241 thousandths, we could round it to 250 thousandths if our divisor was 5 or 50, because that would be more compatible with 250. So see, it depends on the divisor, all right? If you want to estimate the daily pay from a paycheck of $601.28 for seven days, you have to think, what is easily multiplied by seven? What is going to make seven an easy divisor? Well, 56 divided by 7 is 8, so we could go with 560, and 63 is 7 divided by 9 is compatible, so we could go to 630. So let's estimate down and do 560. Then we know that it's about $80 a day, and if we estimate up to the 630, we know it's about $90 per day. And actually, because 560 and 630 are in each side of this number, we could go in the middle because it's in the middle, and we could say about 85 a day, couldn't we? What if there was a bill for $1,627 for a month? So you wanted to find out how much it was a day. Well, you could round it to 1500 because 3 is very compatible with 15, and we could say $50 per day. We could also round up to 1800 and say that it was $60 a day. So what if our electric bill at Christmas, because you decided to go wacky with the Christmas lights, and they were all over the house, and you were in the newspaper, and you were famous because of all your Christmas lights, but then you got the electric bill in January, and it was $1,730 for one month. You'd be able to round up to $1,800 and say, ooh, it cost me about $60 per day to have all those Christmas lights up. See? So you can round up or round down whatever is compatible to the divisor is how you would decide which one to use. All right? Does that help you with estimating? I hope so. I'll see you next video. Bye.